And then I was quite a big lump at that time. I was about 19 stone at like 5% body fat training seriously. And uh, I'd had a shoulder injury and I was on a lot yeah. of painkillers. And I suddenly felt I've been using gear. You know, I feel down. Nobody loves me. You know, you feel... You're on your own. You're yeah. on your own, right? So what do I do? I start taking these painkillers, start knocking the painkillers back. And uh, I don't really remember much after that, but this is what happened. Uh, apparently there was a knock on my door in my apartment and I opened the door and collapsed and it was a pizza being delivered. It wasn't even for my apartment. It was like somebody's looking out for you, right, whether you believe in whatever. Wow. And uh, I woke up handcuffed wow. to the hospital bed in Cedar Sinai Hospital each side. I was handcuffed both hands, charcoal all down my front of me of what they had on me where they had pumped my stomach and I was handcuffed each side and I kind of woke up and, you know, there's a nurse there and it's like you've taken an overdose and, you know... I meant it obviously because I wasn't a call. I wasn't calling someone to come and help me. This is what happened, and and here's something that's always stuck in my head from that moment, right? So there I am, about 19 stone, right, big <laughs> lump. You know, I was competing at the time, and I needed a wee badly, right? So I said to the nurse, "Can you can you unhandcuff one of my hands because they were handcuffed to each side of the bed?" And they must have looked and thought, "There's this f***ing, the big English guy on the bed who's trying to kill himself, like trying to commit." I like, whoa, no way we're going to do that. And I'm like 21, and I'm like, I really need a wee. And she's like, no, I'll hold it for you. So she's got this, you know, the, 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 the container that they use. And I don't know why, because it's, it's a weird thing, but it was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. And yeah. that moment in time, I went, I'm never, ever going to let something externally affect yeah. me internally to the point where I yeah. don't want to be here. You were yeah. completely emasculated, broken, 